Now as we start talking about practicing, we want to make sure that practices are organized. Organizing practices takes thought, planning, caring, and commitment. Thought. You've got to think about what you're trying to accomplish, whether it's during the week, during this game, during this, this practice, or even for the whole season. Planning. If you plan your practice at the last minute, it's just not going to work. I've seen coaches walk out on the field and as they're going to practice be jotting down notes on their way to their practice. That's just not the way to go. By having a good practice plan, your practice will be organized, it'll move quickly, and you'll get a lot more done. Caring. You want to have a good practice, your attitude will show right through to your team. They'll know whether you care about this practice or not, just like they'll know if you think a game is going to be an easy one or a game is going to be a tough one. Each and every practice, whether you're feeling good or feeling bad, you must walk out there and show that you care about each drill in that practice and the results of that practice as well. Commitment. You must be committed to your practice and stick with the plan. Don't get flustered. If things are going well, it's okay to stop them. If things aren't going well, it's okay to stop that as well. Just make sure that you're sticking to the plan and keep your vision on the big picture, which is winning at the end of the week or preparing for a for a team and everything will work out fine.